Thank you for my new position on the JSPR team. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> you guys are heads. I'm in the Discord, freak, if you want to pop in. It's not that I'm trying to, like, I'm not trying to help Vase with their PR. This is just the, what I got out of what we were talking about. That's it. Like, that, I'm just giving my honest opinion. Um, that's it. That's what I do. I give my honest opinion on things, whether you guys like it or not. There we go. Uh, what's the All right, what's going on? So I know, I know you got a lot of uh, information, and I know you, you know, you got the, uh, you know, I know you, yeah. I know you, I, I want, I want you to be able to say what you want to say. <laughs> Yo, I did like this, bro. First, let me just start off by saying it. It really could have never got to this point if if she mom I'm so interview by me a second. If um if um what's it called? If she just like you feel me? If she just if she just had to just agree to disagree. That's all that. That's all that would was. None of this what, what, what would that? What would have uh, like a like a good apology been to you? You know, like a. To me, the good apology would a good apology would have been from the get go. You just dropped the video from the get go when it first was called out, because she did multiple things. Like, first, you first you try to spin a narrative that I photoshopped it, but then you mm -hmm. said that. But then this is the problem I had. She claimed on her video that oh, the reason that she thought it was photoshopped was because it happened so long ago she didn't remember. Mm -hmm. Like, but you commented, but we I screen I screenshot everything. You commented and stated that. You talked to the boy in December to apologize to him for your old comments. So you remember the screenshot. So which one was it? Uh, the Did one, you... the one thing I will say is if because I looked through like his whole heat. I I called him on Discord and everything, and I made him show me everything to verify it. It yeah. was weird. It's so what seemed like it happened is they had that interaction. Then she deleted mm -hmm. the messages afterwards. He kept them. And so, mm -hmm. if you delete messages on your side, like she didn't unsend the messages, she just deleted them. So yeah. she may not have known that it was her. I don't know if I believe that, but to, to, just to be, you know, contextual. Going off her, but going off her apology, it mm -hmm. was like and it, another thing, bro. If she was a normal, let me put it like this: I wouldn't be coming so hard if she was a normal big creator. You get me? Because mm -hmm. you know, I really am not for the cancel culture. You feel me? Cause, but it's like it comes from the standpoint of she. She literally brags and takes pride in her psychological tricks and manipulation. Right. So it's like it's really hard for me to believe anything you say mm -hmm. when you're twenty four seven bragging about stuff like that. You get me? Right. I would say so that, that I, I. I feel like you know her psychological tips and tricks are really just like Reddit copy and paste. It, you know? I, <laughs> exactly. I don't. I don't think. And, and I think that almost maybe it helps her a little bit because I don't think that she's like. Uh, like a, a, this manipulative, in-depth, psychological individual. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Yeah, but so far, like, every time when she tried to spin the narrative, you remember all the videos I kept making on her? Mm -hmm. She keeps trying to spin it a different way, and it just gets debunked again and again. She's taking L's. But back to this, um, if, if she came out first quarter, when it first came out, uh, if, she was in, if she came out first quarter about it, when it first came out, okay. Okay, I would have lost the argument. Mm -hmm. You feel me? She... she but she didn't. She claimed it was a lie. After she claimed it was a lie, she she got she had time to post about it. She chose to wait in time. And I had multiple creators like calling me. Three and a half me. days, I think. Three and a half days. Yeah. Creators calling me, telling me that, hey, um, Jay has just called my phone asking me what she, um um she's trying to figure out what can she say. Oh, I'm did like, she did oh. she tell multiple people that? Yes, yeah, she oh, told multiple people. She, Cause she did reach out to me and I did talk like I said in the beginning, like I talked to her about it. And that's yeah. why it said like she sounded even, genuine on the phone. Even I speak gave her like even I speak told her what to do, but she chose to ignore all that and she just went with her own little BS and still and then she was posting Twitter posts saying that this was fake, this is all lies. You get me? Oh, well, that's, she, that's, yeah. but then and then like the reason everyone's upset about this, this is what I this is what I want to say because in my in my past videos, you you see me like say that. I try to I sometimes defend people who are from a um a more hood background or something, saying the N word out of context. You, I mean, saying the N word, but they're not saying it in the context that people mean. Mm -hmm. I understand, like I understand that. Um, saying it with the, I'm not gonna say it on here because I want your live. I mean, your, your no, Twitch getting removed. <laughs> yeah, I don't love you. your Twitch, huh? I thank you. Yeah, I don't think it's too. Close yeah, I think your to Twitch be, is gonna uh, get removed. Yeah. yeah. Wanna... So saying it with a hard ER, bro. Black people don't call each other that. Mm -hmm. We, I think one time as a kid, someone said that in school to another boy, 
and I'll and then he literally got jumped. Like it's like it's like something that we just we just it's like a common thing you just don't say. Okay. But but then it's like even a lot of creators were like, even if it was just that, you know, she felt like she was upset, she called him that. All right, whatever. It was a white kid. You get me? Yeah, yeah. If sure. you call a white yeah. kid the N word, you ain't call a black person the N the hardy R, so we can't really say nothing. You get me? I, like, I understand bad. what you're saying. Yeah. It's bad, but like it's not as bad as you calling a black person that you get me? Right. That would yeah, prove sure. that you're a racist. Mm -hmm. You get me? That would improve that you're a racist. Now, you knew he was hanging out with black kids back then. And you purposely Who's tell that? Him, the, the, oh, the kid? Yeah. Because okay. he's from Florida. He's from Florida. Okay, okay. So so you knew he was hanging out with well, he had a lot of black friends. Oh and you choose mm. you choose to call him an N-word lover. And mm. I'm just like, whoa. Because at first I didn't even know she said N word lover. I was so focused on the hard ER, I didn't even read the whole conversation. Yeah. So people kept repeating it like freak, you missed the main point. Right. And I see she says you N word loving. I'm like, yo, that's some shit I heard from a movie when I was in sixth grade, bro. That's some sure. slave master insult. I've never heard like there's racist on this app. I've never even heard a racist use that. Right, so, right, yeah. So, so that genuine, that's genuinely an insult that racists say to other racists because mm -hmm. they know it will make them mad. Because a racist will highly get upset if you're telling him that he's attractive to he attracted to black slaves. Sure, you know I mean? sure. That's interesting. So, so, so where did you find out that he was hanging out with like a lot of black kids? I'm just curious because I, I never asked him that I, question. I just I asked I'll, him if he was gay, if that was yeah. Part I asked of him it. that too because why she called him that. I asked him was he dating a black girl. He said no. I said do you have a lot of do you have black friends around the time? He's like yeah, I have a lot of black friends. And I see his oh, videos okay. where he's skateboarding. I see the videos where he skateboarding, he hang out with black kids and white kids. You get me? Mm -hmm. You know, Florida very diverse. It's really impossible for you to just be around white people. Right, right. Florida. So. That's what what led it on, but her trying to keep spinning these narratives, saying that I'm lying on her, this, this, this. It just kept making it worse and worse. Yeah, you get me? Didn't, that didn't help. Yeah, no, I saw like the whole thing where where she told whatever creator it was, like, oh, freak, kind of just causes trouble or whatever. I yeah, like, she told uh -huh. American Hannah that I found that she said that. Oh, after. is that? Wait, she that's who she reached out to. What did she Yo, reach out to? Every I, I didn't know who it was. That's why everyone was like, "You're stupid." <laughs> I don't understand because I remember telling her I was like, "Listen, like just so you know, it doesn't matter what you say, but like Freak's probably not gonna forgive you because like you said some dumb shit." I don't know why she would actively go out against you because like, <laughs> exactly, bro. <laughs> that's why like the would dumbest you thing for her to say? Yo, that had to be the stupidest tactic I heard in my life. You know the main person behind this is me. You choose to bring me up again. Yeah, I don't I, know why she would. It's do like that. every time I leave her alone, she finds a way to make me come back into yeah, it. Yeah, it's so interesting. She called American Hannah, told American Hannah about it. I like. I don't know why she would tell American Hannah. American Hannah literally takes pride in this shit. So then, um, then then she said that, and it it got worse. Then yeah, she called my comments, and she said the most. This is what made it worse for me. This is when I was like, all right, I really think you're a racist because something's wrong with you, or you just it's right. You're a racist, or you're special. I mean, not special. You're 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 something. You're you're oomph. You're oomph. Mm -hmm. We'll just call you oomph. That'll be the new word. You're oomph, a squally or something. So you you come in my comments because I, the video I made was before it got removed was that no no it's still up that your apology was insincere. It felt it felt scripted. How, the, why was the worst thing in your head? Cause I um, when you get upset, Papa, like you said, you used to be a gamer. You probably said some slurs. I, you know, I did. I said some. I said some. Oh, I was almost said the the but R word. I said some worst, dumb shit. That's what I. Yeah. But the worst thing you could think of was mm -hmm. telling somebody that they like black people. What the fuck? Right. That's, it's funny because <laughs> I never registered that she said that, and I didn't even think anything of it. Because like I, I've said some terrible shit. Like we've said. Yeah. It's always it's always like white gamer kids saying this shit to Yeah. Each we. Other. we Exactly. Everyone says some crazy <laughs> stuff when they get upset. Like, yeah. you, remember, remember the the end mill situation. I say some crazy stuff when I get pushed to a limit. But sure, yeah, sure, yeah. But I've never <laughs> like, a, yeah. I've never like, literally like, just brought racing. Like, I don't understand how's that in your vocabulary, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, that's you feel me? That I word phrase. Saying. It's funny because I don't remember saying that or ever receiving that. You know what I mean? It was always facts, just like bro. you know. And it's just because, like, it was a shocking word. So we're dumb kids and we're like, ah, you know. But the lover part, it's interesting. And it's interesting that you said that he used to hang out with a lot of black kids because I didn't even think to ask that question. Um, yeah. Now, I was trying to figure out why would she use that against you? Like, like, why would she think saying N-word lover would make you so upset? You get me? Yeah, right. I guess because, so, yeah, yeah. I, when you really look into it, it's like, why did that, why was that like an insult to her? Um, bro, that thing was crazy. And then, and then, so her, so her comeback for that, 
I, I promise you, Papa Gut, this has to be the stupidest comeback I've ever heard in my life. I'm about to send you the screenshot right now. Okay. My, okay. She her comeback for that Papa Gut was where is it? Are you sending it to me on Instagram? <laughs> Uh, I, oh, I sent it to you on Discord. Okay, let's uh, see. There you go. It's sent. Let's see. So let's pop this open here. Um, so yeah, it says uh, racism is taught, and I've been spending the past five years trying to unlearn it. I don't know what I could have said to please all of you. Uh, the please all of you thing is what I focus on. Like that, it makes it seem like she was trying to please you guys. You know, black exactly. Girl, you know, rather what, than like what, say a what genuine I apology. On was she just she just she just like she always keep debunking herself i think she needs to just drop something and shut the fuck up like she just she just just dropped it and not said shit no uh -huh. more her comedy is what's causing her to lose like lose lose yeah value. she always does that she she I, I mean to be honest with you as rough as everybody's being with her i almost feel like it's not as rough as so i think you john moss acrello and i speak uh all said somewhat the same thing where it's like um you know, it's like apologize. Like you could have just apologized it quickly exactly. and then just shut the fuck up. Even and like, I know I speak, uh, no, I speak. I know specifically John Moss doesn't like her because of their interaction. Yeah. But and you know, John he, Moss was the one who, who kept advocating to give her peace. John oh, did he? Well, that was going to say, he didn't He didn't even like, he was like, you should have just responded quickly and then sincerely and then just left it alone. And it's like, you know, exactly. of, she, I would say that she's gotten a reasonable, She's gotten a pretty reasonable amount of, like, uh, I guess, f leniency on it. She could have just, like, said, listen, I'm sorry. I said a stupid thing. I'm going to take a break for a while. Um, because, you know, people, the way people say it, people bring up. So people have been bringing up the seven, like, it's from five years ago, right? People mm -hmm. change. You get me? The reason I did not want to hear the people change thing was because, like you said, in the past videos, me and her was already arguing about her superiority complex mm -hmm. and her, her trying to demonize all men. So clearly you haven't grown because you're still the hateful person that you, that you are acting on mm -hmm. right now. You get me? So then when she commented this, this shit just blew my mind. This part just made me feel like, like, like I, might, I might be in the wrong world. Like this, might, this, this generation might not be for me. I was probably mm -hmm. supposed to be a boomer. Because she said... She tried, She said racism is taught. I got that as she's trying to uh, say her parents taught her. I'm just let that slide. I, I think she's talking about it from like a woke, like oh, racism is taught, and like basically yeah. like, we're all ra all white people are just inherently racist. Like that's the narrative. It seems like she's. But that's with. crazy. I've never met a white boy that says something like that. <laughs> <laughs> usually, usually we're saying the opposite of that. You know what I mean? Exactly, like, you know, bro. Uh, but then this is what got me when she said, "I've been spending the past five years trying to unlearn it." So the fact. The past five oh, years, yeah. you've been trying to learn how not to be racist. What the? F well, if you look at it like that, what? that means that she she knew what she said, <laughs> and she was it's trying to. It's a lot. <laughs> she's. It's one of those things where she's just talking too much. She's talking too much, and she's making herself look bad. Papa good. It's just too much. How do, what what kind of what kind of um what kind of um night class that does Harvard have that that, that I, I costs us five years that teaches you how to not be racist? Okay, this is how not to be racist one on one. This is a five year class. I need you to review the textbook. The, the way <laughs> what gets me more is like looking at it as like, oh, I'm trying to better my because like I've been trying to understand like black issues more because I grew up more conservative and it's been like a slow actually the past four years from like 2016. Maybe it's like 2015 is when I started to like try to educate myself after mm -hmm. getting into like John Stewart and then listening to like you know trying to listen to a lot of shit. But, but like, I, crazy I don't know if I would have framed it that how way. How bad? How how bad people paint conservatives off? I still have never met a conservative that said this shit. Mm, yeah, right. And then she 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 said that she's financially a conservative, but um, so like socially a liberal. I didn't. I was like, bro. Shut the fuck up! Like, just stop talking, please, bro. So we trying to spare you. You just keep making it worse. You right? Get yeah. I mean? Yeah. She should have just gave a quick like, "I fucked up." Like I said, a dumb thing. I didn't really realize what I said. Exactly. You know but what I mean? Defend and, yourself. You know. Oh, I'm about to show you this screenshot right here. So this is kind of like, um, they didn't want to send me the rest because they, I guess, they're trying to figure out how they can get TikTok to stop banning them. But so what happened was she was talking to these commentator pages, right? Mm -hmm. About why her apology took so long. Yeah. Her management had to proofread. Yes. Her apology. Yeah, she had mentioned that to me. Cause I remember yeah. telling her to try to get it out as soon as possible. Facts. And if so you're they've not been trying to post yeah. this screenshot, I just sent you right here. Mm -hmm. 
all five pages that have posted this screenshot about her have gotten their accounts back. Oh, I promise you. When's the apology coming out? Question mark. As soon as I get the okay from my managers. If it was up to me, I would have apologized on day one, but I'm tied to contracts right oh. now. But it's out of my control at this point. They have the video. I have my drafts. I just need the okay. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Let me send this one. I, I send that I, one. He I believe her when she says that. Um, no, I believe that. I believe that she sent it to her managers that they proofread it because that shit was bullshit. I'm sorry. I'm, I, well, that's I, the thing. I don't. Th I would have hoped that she didn't add the. I'm going to use my platform to support other black, which isn't like a bad thing, but when it's in this context, it's bad because it's like, hey guys, I fucked up. Black people come on my platform and. You know what I mean? So I feel like they added that in there and they thought that would have been better, but it wasn't. But it wasn't at all. And then no. every time they post these screenshots, I don't know if her managers got some time with TikTok, all their accounts is banned. Who's that? All the the people who post the screenshots? All the people that posted it. Five people. Yeah, you can ask um you can ask um I think I think Giannis came on your stuff or I speak they they they've been banned. I'll send you their um really? Instagrams. They've all been banned for posting this. That's yeah. why that's why they didn't want to post it. I told them I'm not gonna take the yeah, risk. Yeah, well, yeah. All right, great. Do you mind if I make a video on the update of your apology? I'm hoping for today though I can't have this guilt and anxiety any longer. There's been a lot of speculation that you're not making any effort to do the apologies so do you mind if i make a video clearing up who who is this if, if you can even say if you can you can his name is sid his name is sid something It's sid i have his instagram i'm gonna send it to you um his name is sid and then um he's a part of like this big group of commentators that, that's like got big like pages on you know they commentate they talk about this stuff uh, sure and then sure. every time they talked about this i don't know if she's reported or her management has reported but they haven't gotten their accounts banned for like harassment when they post I guess they posted a full context of the screenshots, and then come to find out, America Hanna got more juice off of got more got more videos off of that story with um James, but she holding on to it for later. I don't know, bro. It's oh, the, so they, yeah, they I was gonna say, them. is there more to that thing that you showed? Like, is there a longer form? Yeah, of the they're saying there's they're saying there's more, but it's it's the conversation stopped at where I stopped it at. That's the sure. first part. Well, if you want to tell Americana Hanna to come on here and she wants to play it on here, that'd be my guess. I, we uh, we that's what we've been that's what we've been trying to do. She she's acting weird. She's only been talking to the black leftist hype house about the situation. I don't get it. I don't know. But so um so then this she is might when, have said some dumb shit is probably why I don't know. And then like everything she's done so far just makes her look bad because Papa Gut, hear me out. Mm -hmm. She says she wants to. She's trying to use the ploy of I'm trying to get all these creators to come on my like. Let me put it like this: Did if I was on accept? TikTok. If I wasn't on TikTok, hell no, I'm not. I, no, I told her if if I accept, I'm gonna make her lose more followers. <laughs> she don't <laughs> I, want me on her I platform. I figured, yeah, it would have been saying what you wanted to say, yeah. Yeah, if I said what I could say on her platform, I'll make her lose all her followers. But um, so she, so they told me that um, what was it? Wait, I kind of lost. Oh yeah. So the part about the black, the black people, she followed all of them the day before she she made her video she yes spam i, followed I saw that she was spam oh. following like every black creator she could every every black creator. she even unblocked me and all that so she could so i could watch it and then i genuinely commented and said why the fuck do you think i care that you unblock me i don't care for this then i got yeah. banned <laughs> i keep getting banned from my comments bro so i got banned from comedy and then oh um, did you yeah, because they they keep saying I'm harassing. I don't know, bro. I, I really don't say anything wrong. I just I, I I watch what I say now, so I don't get canceled no more. Even yeah, I don't... you got to be careful of how you say everything. It's very. Oh yeah, bad. now I super got to be careful because I'm just want to bet her whole fan base is on my neck. We got to find freak fucking up. <laughs> freak, yeah, freak maybe if cancels. she has like a if she has like a loyal fan base, there are a lot of people in there that I don't know. There's so I mean like I understand people liking Jace. It's just like I don't know. It's People really were on her side, but it's like the more I broke it well, down, I feel like you I feel like I kind of made it worse. Well, you because... saw that page though. That was like, oh, it was a hundred percent doctored. I think you commented on it. That once, that one. Yup, and then she blocked me. And I was like, what are you talking about? It's doctored. Like, yeah, the guy removed messages. It's not doctored though. And she's like, yes, it is. You don't know anything. And it's like, and then she's focusing on like, oh, the guy was antagonist, which is a hundred percent true. I'm sure he said some horrible shit too, but it's like you know. It's just the intensity and what she said and how she said it that people are more focused on. Exactly. Unless he called you a slur. Unless he said, bro, even if he said the same thing back, he'd be canceled too. You feel me? Right. But you, you're, you're just trying to play. Like, stop putting your guilt on other people and take responsibility, James. That's really what's making me upset. Well, because. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Okay, huh? go, go. No, I was going to say, well, yeah. she apologized to him, but he never apologized back in those DMs. So yeah. we can only assume that he was, he might have been like a dick, 
but he probably wasn't as much of a dick. But that's uh, speculation. Um, but man, uh, man, that rant was crazy though. I seen the rant and I'm like, oh my god, what what did he say to you? <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, I, I would even. I would have honestly, if I was her, I would have said, I don't know why she didn't bring it up because I think it was important because he clearly said something about how she should have been aborted. And like Jace comes from like an adoption center. So like, I think she should have said like, listen, he triggered me because I was adopted and he told me I should have been aborted. So I act like, you know what I'm saying? I feel yeah, like it would have been like, that's why she's so angry. She should have just brought that up. Said it was disgusting. I'm sorry. Kind of like left it at that. But um, that pandering to the black community was not going to do it. And then she yeah. it's like every time she thinks every time she's about to win this whole situation, she has to comment some dumbass shit. And yeah. it, I, she, she forgets my screenshot game is on 4K mode. Or let me say 8K. <laughs> Everybody sends you everything that they have. They, they... It, yo, someone <laughs> said that, too. People were creators were actually messaging me and told me, freak, I genuinely do not want to ever get beef with you. Cause for some odd reason you dig up, you find shit from the past that don't make sense. Yeah, people. Like, where people, are you getting this from? People toss like a ton of information to you. Uh, you know, I don't know what the hell she was thinking. Like, I don't know why she. And then this is what she said. And then, um, T. Nathan. I mean, um, not T. Nathan. I speak destroyed her because when she commented this, she contradicted her her whole. Did apology. you did you send me something else? Yeah, I sent it. Okay, let's see. Once, uh, when she said, right. and to this, I have apologized to the person I said it to a year ago when he reached out, Papa Gut talked about those screenshots. Oh, so yeah, then, yeah, yeah. I speak said you just contradicted yourself. Cause mm -hmm. on your video, you claim that you, 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 you have not had no contact with that conversation since five years ago. You did not remember. You did not remember how much of a horrible person you was, et cetera. So then mm -hmm. she tried to backtrack and she said, oh, well, I forgot. I messed. I text him. I speak in she, she may have honestly just forgot that she apologized. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I'm not trying to give her like that much of the benefit of the doubt. No, I she may, she, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to be accurate, like contem contextually accurate. I'm not saying I'm even right. No, I don't I understand know. completely. Uh, but like you're saying, like she just needs to stop. Like, you know, she just it, it's keeps going and going and going. And I'm just mm -hmm. like, yo, love, I'm really trying to help you. Cause like even with the kill all men thing, you see, when I first made a video on her, I was respectful. I told her my point. I said, I understand her point. Let's leave it at that. Mm -hmm. She continued to bash, and I had to make another one, another one. And now she just dug herself into a hole I genuinely feel like she cannot come out of. You well, feel she's me? probably going to come out of it. I mean, as far as a content creator, you know, if she does shut the fuck up, this will probably blow over in like a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If she shut the fuck up, it'll blow over. But them she harassment always get them those. comments never going to yeah. I feel like them harassments in that comment never going to stop. That comment section never going to stop. But and oh, then yeah, it'll, um, it'll take a while, she, if anything. She claims that she lost her sponsorships with um Netflix and um XP Sports and all that. Did they she? fired her. Yeah, she said they fired her two days ago. Damn, really? Interesting. Yeah, she she said they fired her two days ago. I'm trying to find this another screenshot for you. Um I guess a congratulations to her on her uh, ten million followers. <laughs> yeah, facts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not to be her she, was was going, she lost five hundred K followers. Yeah, so far. yeah, she did. Oh Lord, you know. In my in my mind, I've tried I've tried to help you. Uh, I spared you. You like literally. If I was in your shoes, I would literally have debunked my argument so fast. Yeah, but right. you, but you choose to just keep proving it. Cause look, when I first seen the screenshots, I genuinely like, bro, this is disgusting as fuck. I'm about to show this. When I show this, I thought she was gonna check it. Then she spin the narrative. I'm lying. Now all her fans in my in my DMs. Oh, you're lying on our queen. Our queen. I'm like, what the fuck? Yo, right. so send me the full video. I'm about to post the whole right. Yeah. Thing. And then I posted it. Everybody shut up. Mm -hmm. So then she says, "Oh, you could you." This is what made me lose respect when she said that I photoshopped the video. I said, "All right, shut the fuck up." If someone believe you, shut the fuck up. If you think I actually hate you so much, right? At yeah. the time to go buy the software. To Photoshop a video, nah. Yeah, right. And that well, I want to be careful because I didn't think that you would have photoshopped anything, but like you know, maybe somebody else did. So I just that's why I was like, I want to, I want to see him on Discord because I had him go on Discord and then mm -hmm. screen share and then scroll through her Instagram, hit the mm -hmm. message button multiple times in like a random order, scroll through everything I had because I wanted to make sure because that's a big. I mean, that's a big thing. Thanks. Um, she really, she really, honestly, probably could have walked away. She dug herself into her own hole, bro. She probably could have walked away clean without losing any sponsorships if she had just like saw it. Even if she, when she said it was a lie, once she uh, got debunked on that, if she was like, "Oh, 
listen, I said this. It was awful. It was disgusting. I shouldn't have said it. I'm really sorry. And that could have been it. And it could have, and like, she probably would have been fine. But a lot of people are upset with the amount of time it took her. It took her half a week. After the apology, you had all these saviors in, in the comments saying, bro, she's forgiven and leave it alone. Like, she apologized. What more do y'all want? You get me? Yeah, yeah. So, right. so that was the, so she just, so she started some whole thing with that. So now she could have probably won. She probably had enough little saviors in her stuff to come help her out. You get me? Mm -hmm. Then you had to call American Hannah and backtrack on your fucking apology. God damn it. You just had to shut up. Yeah, well, I don't you know why. You just had to stop posting. I'm so confused because, like, when she reached out to me, I'm like, okay, I understand. Like, me and her have talked a little bit. Like, mm -hmm. I've talked to her before because, like, she's constantly saying dumb shit. So I'm like, Jay is... Just stop responding to people with the hate. You're gonna get hate. You have like you know you get you get to a point where you're gonna get hate. Mm -hmm. That was a long time ago. I think that might have been the Acrello drama. Um, and mm. I was like, okay, I understand why. She, and getting into that, but uh, that I would told her that. But like, I did she have a relationship with Americana Hannah or whatever? Like, this I. Bro, I didn't even know they were fucking friends. I don't either. It's very interesting. They, they don't. They should not even be on the same spectrum. I, yeah, I, I, I don't, don't understand. How they <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't swear, bro. It. I don't know if she just lost all friendships and then like American Kana because I kind of I kind of caused her mutual friends to because when I seen one mutual friend trying to defend it because there was this dude that lives in Cal L A. He was like, um, oh yeah, I got in trouble for that. Because I ain't getting really in trouble. Because he tried to fit her in the comments saying, yes, they're over-exaggerating. Okay, she said, N-word lover is not as bad as you guys making it seem. Mm -hmm. I went on there. I said, he's white. Okay. Went on TikTok, made a video. I said, I'll beat your fucking ass. And then she go, <laughs> she go to I speak. You see freak threatening my friends? I speak, so I don't care. <laughs> who, who, who said that? Who said that? She said to I speak, freak threatening my friends? Yeah, she told I speak that. Why? Freak is threatening my friends. Why would she because Oh, no. Like, like she basically trying to say, I'm trying to stop her from having any contact with people. I said, no, I'm not. I, I just told him, I, why are you defending that shit? <laughs> I, I, I do have to say, I do feel bad for Jace. Not even necessarily because of the drama, but more because it seems like she doesn't have, like, actual, like... like yeah, listen, everybody keeps switching up. Everybody like, keeps switching yeah, up. like, if you have a friend, like, a friend, whether you're right or wrong, like, should kind of back you up. Like, I remember when That's you had that whole... TikTok friendships aren't... This is how I feel, Yeah, bro. right. Leftist, leftist friendships aren't real, bro. I'm gonna be honest. You, you feel, like, hear me out. Be honest, Papa. Girl. Hear me out. Conservatives will protect another conservative to the death, bro. It's Even true. If they, yeah. You if feel they're me? wrong, you know. Leftists, they hear one rumor about you. You raped all these people. I can't believe you. They don't even know. They don't even got proof. They don't need proof, bro. They just gonna start going at you, bro. That's no, the right. problem that. I that's, That's the you know, problem that I have with them. Even a while ago when you had that whole controversy. I just, I, I, we talked about it privately and then I stayed out of it. People are like, why aren't you talking about it? It's like, because I'm friends with Freak. Like, I'm not going to go out. We talk privately. Like, it's not my fucking business. You know what I mean? But, like, mm -hmm. Jay, is just people that are just like, you know, ah, they're turning the second that it's like a little bit of it's convenient. So I feel bad for... She just doesn't have any like real friends. I think that maybe she chooses them wrong or something. I don't know. You know, I don't think she's a bad person for context. She just needs a lot to choose them, her friends better. A lot of them are mostly scared that they're going to be put in the same boat as her when it comes to racism. Because a lot of us did make videos saying that if you still mutuals with her after you find out all this information, okay. You get me? Yeah, right. And then all of them just start unfollowing. Oh, really? Who, somebody said that? No. Yeah, all of them start unfollowing. A lot of them follow me not, bro. I got a lot of alt girls that follow me. Now. I'm kind of scared now. I'm scared. <laughs> like, listen, no, I understand a hundred percent. I understand hundred percent because when I when I was defending, every time I defend Charlie D'Amelio, I get like a ton of Charlie fans in there. Um, I understand how you feel. It's weird. It is weird because um, like they they usually hate you. So when they like you, it's kind of scary. I'm like, damn. Yeah, it's weird. Now I really gotta watch what I post because these motherfuckers gonna be here. <laughs> Real quick. Yeah, yo, it's weird because like I, I, there's some jokes I don't make anymore because if I make them, they get pulled down so quickly because like people, you yeah, know, I, I have a diverse, you get a diverse audience. It's harder to post particular content. Um, it's crazy though because I would have, I mean, listen, honestly, I would have remained mutuals with her if she didn't block me before all this. Like, I'm not gonna follow her now, but I wouldn't have unfollowed her. I mean, like, I'm just being honest. Like, it's, you know, maybe I should have, but uh, I don't know. Man, she her blocking people that disagree with her was oh did you hear oh yeah I didn't even tell you about this all the white creatives that called her out they're blocked still she blocked every white creator that called her out she only unblocked 
the black creators that called her really? out. Well, she, I know them. she unblocked me because I made a video with, I think it's the knowledge where people were like, Oh, uh, how come there's not the same energy? And like, it was a lot of people who weren't defending Danelli. So I was like, yo, where were you guys then? And I showed a screenshot of like Danelli being us friends. And then I showed JS and me, her blocking me. And then she unblocked me. So, um, you know. And if she does this weird thing, so she'll block you, right? Mm -hmm. When you post a video, she'll unblock you, comment, then block you again. Because oh, if really? even if she blocks me, I can't see her yeah, comment or right. comment still going to get likes. People can see her comment. Interesting. So she kept doing that shit, and I was getting upset. So I called her out about it. Um, but yeah, you know what? It's like this, and plus, people are starting to put two and two together. They're like, "Bro, you've been beefing with all these black male creators." Yeah, it's something true. Like that, right. And then, um, Freak just called you out for making that insensitive um insult because she made an insult in her comments, calling us minorities. This dirt, what did she? What did she say? So basically, it was when, um, you know, the uh, when I was when I debunked it for the last time about the kill all men, yeah, joke, yeah, yeah. She was like, I think you guys got it confused. You are the minority here. <laughs> I have my my followers are up, stay in your place. I'm like, but you give me superiority conflicts, and since when using minority is an insult? I, and I guess like, she meant in like the yeah, yeah, people were like, you know, not in like the black meant, sense, she probably meant in the mm -hmm. sense that, like, oh, everybody agrees with me, you're you're wrong, yeah, yeah, like, like, like you know, uh, you're below, you feel me, like, you're you feel me, like, you're the minimum. But now that this information has come out, people are spinning the narrative, like, maybe she was talking, <laughs> it's like she makes she digging herself in a hole on repeat, bro. Mm -hmm. It's true, I, I do remember, um, going through like the Acrello drama with her. And she said, like, I don't know, it, it, she at one point called a crow oh, boy. boy. And it was mm -hmm. like, at first, I was like, whatever. But then thinking, of, like, I don't know. Cause like, John, John, I think has said to me things that like, it seems like she has something against black people. Um, so there's like a little, I don't necessarily people, see it, but everybody people started it. playing the narrative. She does not interact with black creators. Is that black what people, is? You see, you see how you interact with me and me and you be interacting in the comments. Yeah, and all she literally before this people showed the narrative that she has never once collabed with a black creator she has never once fall like even you know like spoken or like you feel me like yeah like, I been in the saying. black creators comment section none of that but all of a sudden now that you're being canceled for the n-word oh my god i follow 100 black i, I know what you're saying yeah it's like she's using like black people as like a token it's not like it was like mm. for the genuinity it was like oh by now i need to be friends with yeah i get what you're saying and then Anthony came with a good point because he said, "Interesting. You want to know how I know you're a t you were ba you're basically um this is a PR move. You you only address the Hardy R. What about you calling him the um the, the lover? Oh yeah, the mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. yeah. She said that it's not. She literally defended. She says it's not bad. Like it's not it's not really a bad word. She don't see why oh, she has no. to. Apologize. She, she said, said did comment. she say? Do you have the screenshot of that? That one I don't. I think I oh, speak that. I got get fuck. it from him." Because I remember talking to her on the phone, and she's like, oh, what about that? I said, well, you know, I said, I don't think anybody should be using it. Even if you're gay, I don't think you should be using the F slur. Uh, and she's, if you come to you Florida, know. I'm going to be honest with you. Eric, you're not, not going to. Right, over here is fucked Listen, up. I, I know, that, I know yes. how the conservatives, but listen, I live in, a, in a, a kind of conservative kind of space, too. It, it happens around here. Like I said, I don't think people should use it. Of course, people do yeah, use I it. but uh, You know what I mean? I understand. But but so people were like, um, oh, she's let she's she's bi so why does it matter and then people and then the narrative came out that she she didn't come out when she said that you get me yeah she was, I, thought she that she, out. I thought that she was out she's like a girlfriend or something that's the that's what i thought time. too yeah. but people are literally saying she did not come out about that um when she was 17 that's why they were weird and then two okay you're using okay it like, that's what you're saying sure yeah mm -hmm. And then people are saying too, you're using it in like a disgusting manner, like you're calling him a um. Yeah, you feel like me? Like it's wrong to be gay. So like people would just, man, she got destroyed. I'm sorry, Papa. Good. She she uh, uh, she should have just been quick, concise, and shouldn't have added the whole pandering part. I I mean I know she has management, which is probably probably why she did it. But they definitely fucked her. They should. And plus, you already had a history with all this bad. Like you've been building up all this drama. Yeah. Just to finally get exposed as a racist. Now everybody, for all we know, you see me. Let me say it like this: for all we know, there, there's no, there's no dots. There's, there could have been pure coincidence. She been beefing with black creators. Sure. But now that this racist stuff come out, 
he was pointing dots. He was going to make right. Yeah. No, there. no, you're <laughs> right. It may have just been a complete coincidence. And then now she's has this come out. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> she, I, I feel bad. I still feel bad for Jay. Um, but she, uh, it, she, she it tried is. to come. She tried to come in my comments and, and try to bash me about my goofy hunters. I don't know. You know that I create like, uh, have you seen my um my profile photo in your comments section? I, I've seen it a few hunters? times. I don't think I've seen Goofy it, Hunters. Yeah, and it like it, it's like a long list of them. Uh -huh. I made that because I found a loophole. Because people always claim that my fans harass them and stuff. You feel me? Sure. So I yeah. told people, okay, if you're a Goofy Hunter, the only things you can say, Goofy Alert, 4K. That's all you can say. <laughs> so. They so her and like two other creators try to come at me and say that I, my fans are harassing them, causing them mental health. Oh, I said, so hear me out. If your mental health is deteriorate, is um is falling apart because some people are commenting goofy alert in your comment section. That sounds like a personal problem. Yeah, it sounds like uh, it sounds like you're very you might you have some uh, weak mental. Well, you're exactly, very mentally fragile. Yeah. They, unless, TikTok will have to put that in the guidelines that people can't say goofy alert. Cause ain't no way you get it, you get in that butt hurt because someone's saying the, goofy alert. The fuck goofy, goofy alert, alert shit. Oh, it, it it just always makes me laugh. Like it, <laughs> <laughs> the goofy alert shit always makes me laugh, man. The re I I I made it up after um I had to stop saying um a goofy because people use like the a goofy, but I had to stop saying it because um mm. basically I'm calling you a goofy. Okay. So, so so they reported it as harassment and bullying. Interesting. When I say goofy alert. I'm not calling it. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like it's you're, you're alerting us to the goofy. You know? it's... Yeah. <laughs> so I can't. So TikTok doesn't fuck with me. But I be finding loopholes in TikTok. TikTok got me fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you, well, you know, it just comes from the experience of having that account banned. You got to be extra careful about it, you know? I was really going to quit. But now that I've seen, like, in only, like, two months, I've grown, like, like <clears throat> almost 75% of my following back. You are, get you, me? Like, are, you in the, are you in the creator fund yet? I keep getting kicked out. Oh. <laughs> My that old sucks. account, I was making like three thousand on the creator for no like I was always I touch a minimum I think you do too. I touch or maybe you touch more than me. I touch a minimum maybe thirty mil views. Or uh, it depends or, on how active. Like after month. after my controversy from last week, I've been on the down low. But I pull about four or five million views a day before that <clears throat> um now i'm down to about two million because i just haven't really been feeling like posting i've been you know the whole fucking pedophile thing is just like, mm. oh, Jesus. yeah i had to debunk i had to debunk that real quick because you know you know i hate that yeah hey i hate father bro i did on that so quick people got mad they're like damn freak yeah like, and nah, then you got bro, move, removed for it I, I remember you you messaged me and like you're, they pulled it down i was like don't even worry about it because like they're gonna end up like you're gonna get fucking banned for it some dumb shit. It's so crazy because like it really it started with like a bunch of like it started with a bunch of like southerners, southern mm -hmm. white people that were having like I can't believe that and they kept saying like if you came close to my daughter and I'm like even if I was a pedophile you're ugly. So but <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but it's like okay whatever people are melting down and then people who didn't like me picked it up and they decided to run the narrative. And nobody brought up the Andre Lopez part which got me. And it's like, you know, like that's that's what made a lot of people stop talking about it. I like did y'all uh. hear the Andre Lopez part? I say if you hate the if you hate the if you hate the joke or you feel like it's not a joke, it's disgusting. Say that. Yeah, right. But if you're saying that Papa Gut is trying to pa pass off a narrative that he like kids, did you not hear the Andre Lopez part, or are you guys that demented, or it's, are you that low IQ? It's crazy, and no, but nobody that was coming after me even referenced the Imagine Andre it. Lopez. It seemed very performative to me because, like, why wouldn't you want to talk about like it's still? I think it's been like almost a month, and he still hasn't said anything. You know. I don't feel sorry for Tony Lopez. I don't feel sorry for Zoe Laverne. I don't feel sorry for Miranda Cooper. But yeah, Miranda I do Cooper. have a little bit. I do have some sympathy for Andre Lopez, though. Because when I read the whole, the whole, when I read the whole thing, bro, about um the setup and then the the messages and stuff, I'm like, that's kind of fucked up. I'm like, look, I, like, I, yeah, you I know he's talking about. Set yeah. up. That's fucked up. I, I get that. <laughs> my my thing here is like, from my understanding of the story, it was like it started off where. Uh, they suppose like they won't come out and say anything, so we can't even confirm it. But they allegedly, uh, like her sister or something, lied about her age, and then he allegedly slept with her. But it was in the hype house at a drinking party, mm -hmm. and at the very least, the hype house itself should get sued because 
You're running, and, and, if, that, and that's why the hype out suing Sony Lopez because yeah. they trying to make played off like they didn't do anything. Yeah, well, I, mean? I feel like if you are running a business, a hype house is a business. They take most of their wages, like crazy. I would, I would ID everybody who comes into that house. It's a fucking right. business, and it's like you let a 14 year old girl come in and she lied about her age. Well, that's all it took. It's like, come on, it's a, it's a business. It's a business. I card right. everybody. I felt like if it was more on the lines of a personal party, like at an Airbnb or something. He probably would have like people probably would have been a little bit more on his side. Like, you yeah. know, you like cause look, look, the girl had a history with um Tony Lopez already. I don't know if you know about that. The, Did the, she? the sister. The sister, she oh, I guess the older she slept sister. With, the older yeah, sister. Yeah, the older sister, she she slept with Tony Lopez in the past. And then I guess that um she tried to spin a narrative that Tony Lopez like seduced her or whatever. And then like to, it's Tony Lopez's fault. I'm blaming on Tony Lopez. Because she already showed that she has evil intent. You still invite this bitch back over the fuck. You invite her yeah, back I, over. Yeah, I don't know. They're 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 fucking crazy. Um, you know, with I don't know. They're all out of their minds. But yeah, it's so like, hype houses, but, I, but then it showed. But he doesn't have any charges against them right now. That was false. Yeah, I don't then, think. Uh, I don't know what the hell's going on. It's suspicious that his of, girlfriend broke up with him. Yup, be home. Yup, they she kicked him out the crib. Because come to find out, I didn't know that they claimed that his birthday. Him and her was talking. It's just that they weren't public about it. Who's you that? Get me? Him and his girlfriend uh, or the fourteen year old? Yeah, him and his girlfriend. Um okay. back then. When it happened on his birthday, come to find out, I guess her and him were like messing with each other still. They weren't just public about it yet. Okay, I see. So okay. I guess that's why she's super hurt. I get I, I don't think she believes that he's a pedo. I think she just hurt at the fact that he was sleeping around. Yeah, you know I mean? which is bad timing for him because it makes it seem real. And then there's this big issue with these big creators. They just feel like they don't have to say anything. Um, crazy as hell. You tell you let you see every time someone put an allegation out on me, I hop on it like an hour later. Okay, I'm talking about an hour later. But you know, yeah, well, right. you know what it is. They got all those fucking brand deals, so it's like they're getting money from whatever brand, and then it's like, oh, I, I might have slept with a kid, and then it's like, oh, well, we got to respond to this, and then it's like, you know, I don't know, because <laughs> shit's all fucked. Even the Tony Lopez thing, like, I don't know, it's weird. But like 20 and 16, it's like you know you shouldn't be you you should know you shouldn't be doing that, but it's not like pedophile shit i would say it's just like stop being a it's fucking that, idiot it's that florida mentality that yeah yeah well they live in like nebraska or something where it's the, it's the yeah. same thing um and then what, what's the only the thing that really gets me with tony though is it seems Ooh. like he would talk to 15 year old girls and once they turned 16 he would sexually talk to them and yeah that's what but, it's something i didn't catch at first but it's like he seems to have a like he does he doesn't it's like that 16 is like his barrier but it's like weird. It's to weird. Me. It's kind of weird, though. You think about, yeah, it's kind of weird. Like you yeah. don't intentionally like, like, like what I said. Um, I t like um, what happened? I didn't. I was supposed to make a video on this, but um, I mean, actually, I made it on my old page before it got banned. It was when the like people were trying to say, "How would you not know this, this, this?" I said, "Whoa, now I don't support Tony Lopez. This shit, what he's doing? Cause yeah, he's wrong. Mm -hmm. But if you guys literally come to South Florida, bro." These fourteen-year-olds be getting in twenty-one-year-old clubs, bro. That shit fucked yeah, up. Yeah, right. Like, they, they be in these clubs and they be sleeping. Like there was a girl. There's a girl from Florida. Um, I don't know you seen the video where she was bragging about how she slept with the NFL players. Yeah, that was on like a cruise. Yeah, she was like yeah, sixteen, yeah, she, but she, she, she took she, her she, sister's ID and then she mm -hmm. got into a, she got into like a club. So at that point, it's not his fault. Um, but but then she 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 tried to spin a narrative after people kept calling her out. She said, "No, he did know my age. I'm the no, victim." She, I'm like, I made bro, a whole nah, video on her. She's full of shit, bro. Now. I need, bro, I need ID, bro. <laughs> I need ID. Yeah, I think so, too. I feel like that's where it's, everything's gone. I mean, thankfully, I don't even fuck with that shit. So, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm all my, done. My followers done, my followers done, done, made, done put me, like, done made me get, like, into something with another female creator mm. where they want me, like, they want, like, me and her talking or whatever. So, that's taking my eyes off of these. That's I, don't trust, oh, I don't trust TikTok girls no more. Bro. I'm sorry. Any any white girl who's on TikTok, I don't trust them. Not no, no offense to white girls. It's just not not. All right, let me put it like this: the leftist white girls, I don't trust them, bro. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't really trust any of the leftists. I don't think that there there's something I don't know. In my experience, like I've disagreements with conservatives and progressives, but like the left leftists, yeah, like, the left they are. They'll they'll like I hate like for instance, I don't like the whole conversations and then them taking it out of context and like putting up narrative right. i hate that i have no problem with like being wrong no problem with but it's like the oh i got you on this it's like dude shut the fuck up we had an hour-long conversation until 30 seconds You're when like, i made that um, joke 
I don't know if you remember when I made that joke when I said, "Oh, I think that I think um the pedals should join the LGBTQ, so we can go, so we can go sit at the at a rooftop. Oh, God. So we could go sit at a rooftop with 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 our beers and our AK 47s oh, waiting for the. God. That's oh. the kind of shit that gets you banned. You know? Yeah, but but then um, <laughs> I guess people people were like people were like um oh freak. So what you trying to say? You trying to say you're gonna try to destroy the whole LGBTQ parade? I said, did you not hear me? I think it was like a joke that you were making. Yeah, I said, I said, I want them to come out yeah. so when their parade float comes up, it, it's gone. Yeah, you right. Know? The big P comes up and then it's like, holy shit. Thank you so much, Soapy, for the 15 gifts. Jesus Christ, man. Um, yeah, I man. heard that the UK just try to, just is lowering their um their age limit to 15 now. For what? I watch, uh, their um, age of consent to 15 now. Why? Why would they do that? I feel like it needs man, to be. It's a trip, man. I'm telling you, bro. Because I, what what from some of the UK girls I text, they tell me that these little it, they they start drinking, they smoking by the age of twelve. I wonder what it is because I think I, if I'm educated enough, the UK is like a collection of countries, so they might have mm -hmm. the. I know, like I think I might be wrong. I think like Greece is part of that, and Greece it's fifteen. Yeah, um, Greece, like the backwater um, white countries. Uh. The Philippines <laughs> is it? The, is it the Philippines? Is one of those those Asian countries where it's eleven. I think it's the Philippines. I think in and like that, it's El Salvador, it's like twelve too. Like it's oh, it's fucking crazy everywhere. But that's why I don't trust people that be telling me, "Oh, I'm going to El Salvador, Philippines for for why are you going there? What you going yeah, there for? Uh, you got no yeah. business over there." It's <laughs> it is crazy where like in a lot of countries that the age of consent is when you were, a woman would generally get a period, and it's gross. And then it's like you'll usually see like twelve year olds dating like eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Year it's just. I don't know. It's fucking crazy. Everybody's all over the place. I don't know. I feel like if anything, we could probably have a conversation about raising it. I don't know in America, <laughs> honestly. Um, if you raise it, it wouldn't be so. If people raised it, it wouldn't be so natural. But you know, one thing that I understand, you know, that high school thing where they be like seniors mess with freshmen and stuff like that. Would you? Do you think you hold seniors accountable for messing with um, freshmen? I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. Or do you feel like after school you well, should I, not be looking? I I way? don't. I don't think you should be looking there. I will say mm -hmm. that since it's like acceptable, well, it's technically acceptable that like I wouldn't call them predators, but mm -hmm. I definitely think that they should stop fucking around. Um, I would say that like an eighteen-year-old talking to a fourteen-year-old in if they're both in high school isn't as bad as like. Whoa, whoa, whoa fourteen. Oh yeah, that's what you're talking about. That's what you said, right? Every, every everybody. I, no, I'll be forgetting everybody age in my school. The the youngest fucking ninth grader was probably 15, 16. Oh, really? Yeah, no, that's yeah. Like, it's like the four years, like 18, 14. It's uncomfortable. I would say yeah. it's worse if the 18 year old's out of high school than in high school, though, because at least I guess you have an excuse. I think that, like, you should keep it too. Honestly, I don't think anybody under 16 should be fucking around. And then, like, 16 should be like a two, like maybe a three year age gap after that, maybe at most. Florida, Florida, um, it's, Florida's it's, fucked. Kind of, it's kind of fucked up. It's, it's like the rule is weird. But people get away with it. So basically, a 16-year-old can date a 23-year-old until he turns 24. Until he turns 24. Mm -hmm. But they basically, no sexual contact is allowed. But you know I they're know still Yeah, because technically dating is me? okay, but like the intercourse is the problem. When I think yeah, I'm but it's still going to, you know they're still going to do it. No, so yeah, then, of course. Come, but then at the age of 17, is like, you know, I think it's 17 and up to 23, you can do it and not go to jail, which is it's, it's weird, bro. I, yeah, I know, like, I think New York's age of consent is, like, 17. Uh, there's still issues with, like, them being kids, so, like, the parents can, like, tell you to stop. It shit's just all over the place, man. <clears throat> it's crazy. It's crazy. A girl, it's, it's, real, it's real crazy, bro. Florida, Florida fucked up. It's not in our water. It's not in our water. Yeah, fucking Florida. We got to just cut that whole state out and fucking push you guys out. <laughs> Push Yo. you guys out, bro. But it's not even just Florida, bro. It's like a lot of like the more southern states are like kind of like. Uh, I heard uh, it's like I maybe there's just not enough people around. There's not enough people to fuck, so people just uh, fuck uh, in these weird age gaps. I don't know. You gotta be careful because a lot of people get um got get get in trouble like caught up like bad. I know. I remember I heard the story about the promoter that mm -hmm. was um it was a promoter in our in Florida. It was like this. What was it a party? It was this event because we have clubs that are event like wise. It doesn't say twenty one and up, but like you, more than you have to be eighteen. But like if you pay oh, you the bounce bracelet, back, yeah, you, so you get a bracelet, but it's on like you get marked. You get marked in the head. Mm -hmm. They make it, bro. To be honest, they make it easy as possible to get to get. So, say you're sixteen trying to go to that club. Mm -hmm. 
literally the bounce if you just say you don't have your ID, the bouncer is gonna be like, okay, just give me forty and go in. That's it. That's that that's good. how fucked up it is. So I guess the promoter ain't no. And Shotty came in with some like I seen the photo. Shotty came in with some next level lingerie in a dress type. I don't know what kind of outfit it was, mm-hmm. but she came in. She came on stage. She was giving her liquor. It was lit. I guess they went back to the they went back to his hotel. Smash. Then she told him. Then um he stopped talking to her. I guess it was like a you know a, a one night stand. Yeah, sure. She, she she felt pressed. She told everybody that. He had sex with me, and I'm only 14. I was laughing my ass off, bro. Jesus I said, yo. <laughs> Jesus yo. Christ. He moved. I don't know what happened to him. He moved. <laughs> he yeah, moved. that shit will fuck you up, man. Yeah, it's one. It's fucked, too, because like if you're a guy in a club and a girl gets in the club, you would assume that they're the correct age. You know what I mean? Especially if you're in a 21 and up club. Why the hell is there a 14-year-old? Yeah, like how they even get in there. That's the club's response. I would sue the club. I swear I would yeah. sue the club. It's a club sure responsibility, enough. and then they don't even give a shit until, unless, like, the state gives a fuck, and then you, the state probably doesn't care. Honestly. Exactly. And the police department doesn't care, and it's just like, there's a whole cultural thing there. It's all over the it, place. It's weird. So, I don't know, I guess Tony Lopez tried to bring the Florida the Florida culture to other states, and it didn't work for him. Man, yeah, man yeah, California. And up. Well, California's bad, too, because, like, in California, there's, like, a rule that, like, you can engage up to 10 years with somebody. And, like, it's up to the judge's, disc- or to the judge's discretion whether to charge you. So if you're 14 and you sleep with a 24-year-old, a 24-year-old could get off if the judge lets him get off. That's the that, crazy that's thing. That's to be one fucked up ass judge. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. And so that's... Gemini official, he, I think he finally quit. You think he finally gave up? Yeah, probably. This shit was too much, too, man. His, like the whole, it, it wasn't even just like the age thing. It was like the predatory shit, the, the drunk girl at the party. The, 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 old, the, old, the old charges that he had from his old college yeah. about him breaking inside the, gore, the girl's dorm room and trying to sexually like, assist. It's crazy, yeah. bro. Bro, it's crazy because if he had just not, he could have just not apologized, mm. probably would have still been here. Um, yeah, that's what was scary about it, though, because like the story was he literally sat in her room in the dark. And yeah, yeah, yeah. like he broke he broke in and waited for her to like hit hit on her. Yeah, you know, I'm like, yo, you straight? What the hell wrong with I you? I don't bro? know, like, man. Yo. This shit's weird, bro. It's fucking crazy. That I, story hit. That story hit Florida. A lot of people were looking for his ass in Jacksonville. Oh. He, he, he. And maybe that's why he's not returning. Holy yeah, there a lot of people, a lot of motherfuckers are looking for this guys. Actually, that shit, that shit, we don't play like Matt. How fucked up Florida is, but we actually don't play that pedophile shit. If someone hears a story that you messing around with kids, that's your you, like you really gonna. That's why I don't take. That's why I really don't take pedophile allegations. Um, lightly, like you feel me? As a oh joke, yeah, yeah me, neither, me neither. That's why, I, like that people, I don't think a lot of people understand that because kids nowadays think that everything is pedophilia, and like that is a literal call to violence. Like if you're gonna label somebody a predator, you need to understand what that means to a lot of like, especially grown men. Like grown yes, grown men are willing to put their lives on the line uh, to fucking beat the shit out of a predator. So you you can't Didn't just one say guy it. just go to jail. He had headlines. He killed he killed a pedophile and he apologized to the judge saying I know it was wrong to murder, but he was fucking kids. And I'm like, yeah, that's... I'd have gave him I'd have gave him six I'd have gave him um, um two weeks community service. <laughs> give, him give him some community probation. service. Tell me, <laughs> give him some anger management classes and community service and tell him they did the one as well. Complete facts, bro. Mm-hmm. Complete. The, hey, I have a question for you though. I, I want to bring politics into this, but you might explain to me why Republican states seem to be doing better than liberal states. What What do you or mean? Demo- or, or Democratic states? I mean. What do you mean, like uh, like Ca- like Ca- like Cali, New York, um, um, Chicago? I heard I didn't. I never knew someone informed me Chicago was a Democratic. Oh. Do you mean like uh, like poverty wise or something? Poverty wise, um, taxes wise. Stuff like um that. okay so like so i know like the worst cities in the united like the, the bottom 10 worst cities in the united states are blue are in blue states right but then like like i think eight of the top 10 best cities in the united states are also in blue states i think it has to do i honestly would say that it has to do with like democratic policies that like shit mm-hmm. on small businesses like a lot of weird shit and then they end up creating like big wealth disparity like in new york for instance like if you if you're a business in New York, once you get to a certain size, you have to pay for people people's metro cards. And it hurts the business to have to like do this shit. So it's all this stuff that's trying to like remove wealth inequality, but it ends up fucking small businesses. 
and even big businesses. I think that's part of it. There's usually higher taxes in these states. One of the reasons is, I don't know if you know what a donor state is, um, no. but what basically is basically fed, the federal government collects taxes and then they redistribute it to the United States. So there are 10 states in the United States that give more money to the federal government than they receive back in like federal grants. And they're all blue states. Like New Jersey, like if you're a taxpayer in New Jersey, on average, you're going to get back like 75 cents on the dollar of what you give federally. So there's a lot of states and they're all, they're mostly red states that um, end up getting money from the federal government that their state, like their state couldn't survive on their own, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of like little factors there. Um, you know, overall, I don't know. I think the best so states. I've seen, I've seen the thing where California is like, is this news like Californians and New Yorkers? A lot of them are moving to Florida and Texas. I said, hey, stay your asses over there. <laughs> I've been, to, I've been to California, bro. It was horrible, bro. Like, I love the, I love like if you go, if you stay in a nice side, California a vibe. Mm -hmm. But then, bro, this is what happened. I was in a nice hotel on Intercontinental. That their their lobby is on the seventy two floor. I'm I'm chilling. Mm -hmm. so you know what? Let me go put some gas in the car. It's Go to the there. gas station. That bitch say seven dollars. I lost my really? shit. Really? Like, That's like, crazy. Seven dollars, bro, for gas. I've never seen gas go more than two thirty, bro, in Florida, bro. I, I was yeah, going crazy. Right. I think over here maybe like three dollars. You know, this is like I live in like um, New York, so I don't know, man. It's crazy. I think a lot of Democrats will first of all to give big business cuts, like to give cuts to big businesses, but they also try to do these things that they think are going to help, but they don't help. And they end up making things worse. It's like, oh, well, we have like poor people. What if we did more social work? And it's like, that's an idea. What if we, but like, what if we also stopped, you know, fucking people on how much it costs? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think the best states that are like Democrat states with like Republican management, like mayors, mm, and whatnot, gotcha, gotcha, like gotcha, the, gotcha. the mixture is, is better. Okay. Because um, every time someone's from New York or California come to Florida, they ask me stupid questions like, where's the hood at? And I'm like, I'm, well, I'm confused what you're asking. <laughs> what do you, they ask you for those? No, they like, they like, like, where's, where's the street? I take them. They like, bro, this is not the hood. I'm like, bro, I, this is not California. You're not going to see 20 tenths of homeless people down the street, bro. Every one Right, night. yeah, yeah. It, 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 we don't do that here. It's too much benefits in Florida for you to be homeless. Like, I tell everyone that. I say, bro, if you're homeless in Florida, it's because you want to be homeless. Because mm. you have people ready. You have the you have um assistant aid, you have section eight. It's too many things in Florida for you to be homeless. You, you, some people rather go to prison and be homeless in Florida. So I don't understand why you're homeless. I swear. You'll see maybe one hobo every 30 minutes. I swear to God. That's and crazy. That's, and that's and that's like facts. It's not yeah, even I know they, have, they have like fucking like uh, homeless towns and and Cal I don't know the specifics of what the fuck's going on there, but they, they do got homeless. They got this thing called um tenderloin, bro, bro. These motherfuckers tricked me. They told me, "Hey, free, roll down your window. This is tenderloin." I rolled down my window, bro. That shit had my eyes burning, bro. I was like, "Yo, the air crazy here. Piss me like piss. It's crazy, bro." I was, I'm like, nah, you see, that's it. I'm yeah, good. I know people are moving to like Joe Rogan and Ben Shapiro. They're like in Texas now. A lot of people are going to, I thought about it. Um, I actually thought if I ever get like good, good bread, because I've been doing good with the stock market lately. Mm -hmm. I have some, I like, I like, you see, this is the one thing I like about our supporters off TikTok. Our supporters don't be only kids. They be like, like, it's a couple of my supporters is actually like big millionaires. And they've been, they oh, put yeah. me in it. They put me in their Discord and they've been teaching me like the stock market and how to maneuver it. I'm actually supposed to be doing a um a ad for them. They want me to do like a TikTok ad. There was so much controversy going on. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna yeah. keep it facts. I'm not gonna be free until people leave me alone about like yeah, until yeah, it's not like a good climate to be promoting anything right now. I get exactly yeah, what you're saying. I, I said when Jay is finally shuts up it does not talk, <laughs> then I have to right. hopefully she stops reaching out to people and like I don't know, man. You got American. Fuck American out. Hannah did it so wrong. I ain't go cap. I hope American Hannah knows that no one's gonna trust her after that no more. I uh, yeah. I've... I. Even I was. That. Is she progressive or is she conservative? Bro, she says she's a socialist now. Right. Yep. She says she went to college, became a socialist. A lot of people think social. A lot are communists. Communists. A lot of people saying that they're communists. Like I seen this girl kind of like. If you actually went to school and studied, you would know that communism is actually good for for the United States. I'm like, bro, yeah, fuck you. It's not. It's not the case at all. I don't think. Um, 
Unfortunately, not- people who are communists can't really come on and justify their communism. Uh, it's like a lot of like, hey, did you know about Mark Syria? And I'm like, hey, I'm just kind of interested. Like, why would I be a garbage man? And they're like, huh, you did the meme. <laughs> yeah, they're like, you did, you did the meme. You know that? I'm like, I just want an answer, and they can't give you. They're like, it depends on what the society wants. It's like, well, that's not enough, motherfucker. Exactly. Right now, <laughs> like, bro, imagine someone going to school all 12 years to become a doctor just to make the same as someone. You feel me, like, bro? No, bro. Motherfuckers yeah. are actually. Then they try to say no. That's not really what it is. I said, bro, perfect communism. I seen um conservatives say, bro. Perfect communism does not exist. If like if it could exist, then yes, I'll be for it. But, but com- maybe in a couple communism- hundred years, maybe once our society is less like uh, selfish, sure. But we're not there. Like imagine America went communist, Russia would fuck us instantly because like communist states are generally weak. Um, you know, capitalism is generally strong, and like part of it's because like we shit on other people, like poor people. I get that, but you know what? I would rather live in a Western society than whatever the fuck's going on in most of the other world. Like I'd rather not live under like Russia or China um, or the Middle East. So, you know, that shit, man. Yeah. I, yeah. I keep it facts. Certain places I've been there and I'm like, yeah, like when I remember someone was trying to argue with me, telling me that, Oh, if we went back to Africa, everything would be a hundred percent better. I said, bro, leave me the fuck alone about that shit. Leave I feel like alone. that's not true. What do you, they say that to you? Wait, who says that to you? That's a. Te- I feel like that's terrible. It was um on my old page. Someone was like, "Bro, we can pack up and leave and go to Africa." Dude, there's like, so pretty, many problems with that. It was and it was a gay dude too. I told him, "Bro, trust me, bro. You do not want to. No, you don't want to be a gay dude, no. bro." There's so many problems because one thing, a lot of like like people like like Africans, people in Africa, they don't like Black Americans. Um, it's just like an unfortunate reality. That's, yo, that's what I was trying to tell them. Like, you know, some of them on TikTok actually say that. Like there's 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 Africans on TikTok that actually say they 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 feel like like Black Americans be trying them because like when I was a kid, bro, I used to get Black Black Americans used to bully the shit out of us Haitians, Jamaicans, yep. Africans. It always is a jokes, bro. Well, more like twenty, maybe like 2010, 2013, That that stopped. Do you get me? Mm-hmm. But like some people still hold on to that old grudge, bro. You get me? Some yeah, people they, still hold on. It's like the stereotype. They they just hate black Americans. They think they're all lazy. You know, it's just like people don't realize that there's like there's a lot of shit going on. Um, you know, and then if you're gay and you go to a, a lot of Caribbeans, a lot of Caribbean places really do not like um do not see I put it like this. A lot of Haitians do not see themselves as black Americans. No, like, they I, hate I, it. They I, hate I, it when you say that they're black. Yeah, they they like they they genuinely I was like I remember I was telling somebody um it, like cause it was this Haitian dude I was talking. And the girl was asking me what he was called, what he was saying. I said he called you a yank, and she was like, "What is a yank?" I like that is a Haitian, that is a Haitian term that they call white, that they call um American people, like because you know the Yankees. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they call y'all yanks, but then I'm, but I'm like, and then, but I'm like, they majority of the time they call more black people it because you more see Caribbean people around like in the black areas, like you get me? Yeah, yeah. So, so they don't like that. But I was like, um. There's a lot of things that people created, like a lot of names are created about is like, you know, the whole eating cat thing that people say about Asians. Yeah. like in cats Florida, dogs, that, yeah. People say that about in Florida back then. People used to say that about Haitians, bro. They used to say Haitians eat cats. That's swear. Oh, so that was just what, like the, you guys going like, well, I guess people going back and forth to each other with that shit. It, yeah, bro. It was like, it was crazy. But then like, I think something happened. That's when gangs started becoming a thing, like Haitian gangs, Jamaican gangs. And they started like actually pressing people that kept saying that dumb ass shit. And that's when it all like came to an end. Right. Well, that's a, I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> Other than yeah. like the gang part's probably not good, but the the fact yeah. That now good. now they can't now they're not really gang I think they're inactive. Like you could tell like, around this. I tell people that all the time. When how I was three years ago in high school is not the same how it is now. It's like it's not. I don't really see that much activity. In, in, well, in my area at most, you feel mm-hmm. me. Probably Jacksonville. If you go to Jacksonville, you'll see more death. But here, not really. Yeah, well, I feel somewhere. like if I went there, they'd beat the shit out of me, right? They don't like white people walking around <laughs> over there. <laughs> That's crazy. I tell people that, yo, we really be chilling out here. Like, there's really no racial hate between everybody. Everybody just chill. The only problem, the only person that everybody hate here is, like, the police. But not even not even the police on some kill out. I mean, um, ACAB junk. More on the lines of, it's just, like, police brutality in Florida kind of weird. I don't know if you've oh, ever yeah. seen it. Police brutality in Florida weird. Like they actually, especially Miami, they don't play with nobody, bro. They'll beat your ass. That's Miami police will actually beat your ass. They'll tell you, "Hey, get your ass up again. This car, I'm gonna beat your ass." And they just, bro, it's crazy. Jesus Christ, I don't doubt like, it. It's interesting though. It's fucking yeah. Like something. Compared to more of the northern police, they don't really act like that. 
You get me? It's all about areas. I feel like I feel like some police in some areas just get tired of how people act. So it's on some shit like they try to like that doesn't justify it though. You get me? No, no, no. It's, I get what you're but, saying. But, it's almost like yeah. it's, it's like everybody's just fucking. I don't know. Mm-hmm, everybody's exactly. like a gang over there. Like the police just act like another gang. You know what, bro? It's like so. Look, your your best friend is the sheriff department. If the sheriff department's coming to get you, okay, you good. You probably could even argue with the sheriff department. They're not gonna do anything to you. Freaking um, like let me say, like the nor the, the normal um count, like the normal city, like Orlando police. Mm. Ho ho! Someone said they call Orlando police on you, bro. Just run, just run. Trust me, they're gonna run. beat your ass. Don't even, don't <laughs> even like submit. <laughs> they're gonna beat your ass. That's they're coming. The, they're gonna... <laughs> thankfully, around here we have like overpaid police officers who just don't really do anything. So, oh yeah, overpaid. Oh, they yeah. just lazy. You know, top pay over here oh. is like one hundred and fifteen grand. Oh damn! Yeah. Um, freaking, what's it called? Uh, oh shit! Huh? Ooh, 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 ooh. Playing, what are you playing? Oh, I, I'm playing Apex, and he just tried to clap me. Now I'm about to run away. Shit. So, I, really quick, when are you are you gonna make a Twitch at some point? I did make a Twitch, but it's um on the lines of I need to get the whole setup. Like you know how you got your setup? I don't yeah, want to have yeah. ass. You get me? You don't want to just have I, a I just run it off a phone, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have um a laptop that that does good and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but like when they want me to stream games and stuff like that, that's one of the issues. Yeah, 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 it makes yeah. it really difficult to be able to do yeah. that. Because I know Apex is like one of those things. Although you have a what do you have a PlayStation? Yeah, I got a P. Yeah, I got P four. So when I stream off P four, it's like it's some things that you can do to stream off P four and still look at the thing, but you need like multiple monitors. You get me? Yeah, so, right. So you get like I'll, a I'll capture card or something, I think, would mm-hmm. help you to do all like this yeah. extra bullshit. Yeah, I don't it, know. It, exactly. So it's um yeah, but at the end of the day, bro, J, um at the end of the day to wrap it up, in my mind, I don't accept her apology. She could have did it way better. She could have yeah. she could have handled all this way better. But it's like she, I feel like she let her pride, like you, it, to the bitter end, you still couldn't suck up your pride to shut the fuck up and just you yeah, know like stop defending yourself, like you know. You're like, like you, like the whole time people really got gaslighting vibes from her. They're just like, bro, you're basically gaslighting. I hope you know that. Like, cause people keep telling her, yo, 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 just be quiet. This is going to blow over. Mm-hmm. She continues to keep going. She's, she spits more BS that gives us racist vibes. You get me? Yeah. Do you, do you, do you think, do you think that another apology would make it better? Or do you think that like, she just needs to shit? Like if she just came out and said, listen, I don't know. Like, let's. She came out and said, "Listen, my management team got involved, and like, I was my apology was shit. I really just fucked up. I should have just came out." I feel sooner. like I feel like it wouldn't mean. I feel like at her best chance of just shutting up. Because, you shut the fuck up now, just because so. um, if she brings that up, it's too. People are really just gonna start bringing up. What about when you call American Hannah and it was like, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. She's just resetting the whole controversy. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I mean, like me personally, uh, you know, I know we both aren't exactly cancel culture people. I don't think that yeah. she deserves to get canceled. But again, what the fuck does that mean coming from me? You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not going to well, defend her like uh, I defended Danelli. People I... are people want her to be canceled just because she's been so she's been so um, problematic the last couple of months, especially yeah, with her, especially with the first she came at Trump supporters and then she got rid of all of them. OK, I don't give a fuck. Then you started coming at um what men like men and I'm yeah. like why and then you try to lie and say oh my 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 big plan was to get all the men off my page and have only good, yeah cool that girls. was weird I saw that and I was like I'm staying the fuck out of this I don't feel like getting into <laughs> this I saw that on her alt account people were like what did Papa what do you think about this I think I was like geez like I was like this is this is like very very shallow like like attempt at like manipulation like bro you didn't do that you said some dumb shit and you doubled down on it and now you're trying to make it seem like you wanted to piss people off. why would you make that the argument she was so mad because when she made that video i literally made a video after it and it hit two bill and then she like bro every time he keep making videos on me it go viral i'm like bro yeah no i i told one of the good told her is like yo like be careful the political tiktok community because it is violent i said you you know, what? I, people love for you to mess up and say yeah. something wrong, bro. It's not for everybody. That's why I. That's why I really like. You see, me and your content right now isn't really um uh, how you say political. It's My, more like call out. Not even. I think we've grown from call out content. Too. Yeah, yeah. I don't like. I try to stay like singular. People contest some things I say, and then I say, "Come on, stream." And they don't usually. It's like whatever. I don't care. Like I, I don't go back and yeah. forth with everything anymore. It's not. It's, it's. It gets far too toxic. 
I noticed that people hate me for no. I, I finally realized people do hate me for no reason. Cause on on one of the videos where they was talking about this, they said I do not like how she said um freak is just a controversial um a black TikToker. I don't like I don't like his videos, but he just he just calls out people fuckery. I'm like, bro, how do you not like my videos? Cause some, I'm like, I really is that that's what she people. said? Or is that the one the the thing that you showed us before, or the one that was on your page? The one that was on my page. Yeah, like, I don't. Like, I don't know why she even brought up that you were black. I know that like you're black. Yeah, but I was like, what the fuck does said. it matter? It's like, yeah, he's like some black guy that likes to stir up controversy. Like, if you left the black part out, I would be like, I guess so. But like, I don't know. It's like, and I, that's what everybody got mad about. But then, and then, um, I guess so. I guess um, um, a couple people came to my defense. Was like, have do you even watch Freak's content? His con, like, literally, he advocates. Like, I advocate. I probably, I probably advocate more than her. You know, I've always talked on the age. I didn't even know she um, advocated for anything, to be honest with you. Exactly. I, I that she she claims she's been a, she claims she's been a big advocate for the BLM. I don't know what the hell she's talking about. But um I you you see with with, with my situation, I'll like I'll talk on, you know, racism towards people, uh call out people who are just saying in idiotic stuff. You see, you you notice that I even pull um articles off of Instagram, like things that are trending on Instagram right now and give my own opinion on it. Yeah, yeah. Now, I think that's, that's mainly smart. the reason. Yeah, I think that's mainly the reason why my content won't get boring because it's at the end of the day, our content is everyday stuff. You really can't get bored. If you get bored at our stuff, that means you get bored of the news. People yeah, don't like, get bored. It's of like news with a twist, yeah. And people, uh -huh. people come to you know that people enjoy consuming it from us. So, um, like, like yeah. if people got bored, like pages like the Shade Room, um, Drama Plug, and all that would not be popping right now. And they've been here for did years. They talk about, did they talk about did the did the Shade Room or whatever talk about JS at all? Bro, somebody actually sent it to them. I heard it's supposed to be going up. I'm scared for her if it goes up because if it goes on shade room, that's I told everybody. Oh, TikTok bro, room what? is that what it is? Oh, TikTok room. They won't talk about it. They talk about um, bro. They weird. They talk about. They really like. I, it's really just toxic. They only care about like alt community creators that do bad stuff. Oh, oh nice. Okay. That's weird. Yeah, like like the, like the big guys, like the, mm -hmm. the Lopez's and the, I went on their page. They just called somebody out for saying the N word in the song. I'm like, bro, Jay just said freaking. What? Yeah, Man, yeah. I, I I listen. I'm just saying, like, I say it in a song. I don't give. A I mean, like, it's not for me to not give. But like, I don't know if you, it's in a song. Whatever. I, I already. I had made a video on that. <laughs> I, said, I said I could tell when, like, me. I could genuinely. You could. Gen I feel like if you have enough brain power, you could genuinely tell when someone's saying it, like, just to fucking like. Do do you know get a reaction out of you so we can yeah get right ass. right C compared to someone actually like like singing the song and like you feel me and they just slipped out and then like you know even then look what's crazy when people when it slip out people say I'm so sorry they apologize you get me yeah but yeah but they still get canceled so it's I'm like weird James literally literally like this is this is backwards I feel like it's so backwards bro yeah it doesn't make any sense because like I mean like well one thing I wouldn't record myself saying it but like I've had times where I'm like singing like I don't know like I listen to Charles Gambino it just comes out and I'm like I'm not gonna kill myself because I'm in the car by myself singing a song but then like if you're on TikTok and you do some dumb shit you know what I mean like you shouldn't be making it a performance because um, I actually got in trouble one time that's when people used to think I was a coon or I hated my skin tone when I made that video Cause this boy was being harassed. Cause I guess um he was singing the song on live and it came out. He like oop my fault and it was like trying to cancel him. Is that is was that a guy or was that like that Ashley girl? No, it was a guy. No, that I know you talking about the Ashley uh, girl is that um um the what's it called your what's it called the leftist your favorite yeah, leftist leftist something? Ashley or something. She stopped making content. I think. Yeah, she did. She quit because they believe they really they really was on yeah, her ass. The, shit her the N word on accident. She was on a live and she was just singing and she said half. And she's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry." And then she got off the live and people were like, "Look." Because at this. Um, she was one of the main leaders of call outs yeah. and saying like, you said it. Like it, it's funny when people contradict themselves. It's funny as hell. Yeah, that's really what gets you canceled. That's why but, you gotta stop um, policing people like that. Like, don't police people like that. Don't police you're people if you know you do the same thing. Yeah. Like that, you see, that's why people are mad at JS too. She was policing Emma Hewley in her yeah. comments. Section. Did you mm. see that screenshot? No, what did she? I, I remember she said something dumb that like completely. I forgot. Oh yeah, Emma Lou, the Emma Lou one. Is that the one? Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, yes. She was like Emma uh, Lou said the exact same thing she said back in twenty six. Well, I feel Emma Lou was younger. Um, I don't know. Emma Lou, Emma Lou was actually the same age. Was Emma Lou's twenty. Yeah, she was the same age. Oh, I thought she was Emma like thirteen was for some reason. No, oh. no, she kept saying that, but then after oh. people confronted her, she admitted that she was um. 16 turning 17 because mm -hmm. i think she'll born the, i think she'll born the same year as me or she or she's like a little older than me you get me yeah yeah but, yeah um, right. she got canceled canceled by cardi b though that shit was done
That and, what it was crazy because like I don't know, man. Cardi B is Cardi B the one that was drugging guys and yeah, 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 yeah. that's it. <laughs> fucking crazy. Yeah, I if it if you if I if you had to choose between who you'd want to cancel, somebody who said like the N word with the hard R, or somebody who was drugging men, robbing them, and uh, uh, apparently allegedly I'll raping cancel, them. I'll be cancel the person drugging because like, yeah, right. as I said, as I said, um, I already have a homeboy who was just set up and he's in a like coma right now. Actually, oh, I heard. Yeah. I've heard he's woken up. I'm not sure. I feel like his family doesn't want to like you know tell me too much based on you know safety or whatever. Sure. But yeah. um, I pray that he is up and up like they claim, like people been telling me. Um, but yeah, like but his other friends died in the car because a girl like a girl set them up. So it's like Jesus stuff, Christ, stuff like that happens a lot in Florida. So it's like that's why I tell that's why I hate when people try to generalize. I'm like, bro, off my trauma because you guys keep saying my trauma, my trauma. <laughs> Off my trauma, I really could generalize everybody if I wanted to, but I don't do that because it's stupid. What does that help? How does that help me? How does hating everyone help me in the future? You get me? Oh yeah. I don't. I don't. Um. I really don't understand people's um mindset when it comes to stupid stuff like that. But hey, I don't know. I think Emma Lou might have been might be back. She might be. She she probably won't jump as she used to. Um. Did you see? Remember when um that I came after that woman that made you get banned because you because you came out and was like, listen here. I like penis. I was crying. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that was. I remember being so like aggressive. That was back when I was like, I was having the time. I'll tell you that. I know what you're talking about. It was her and then some non-binary girl. They had like they had me mass reported or some bullshit. Mm -hmm. And then um, I made a whole video on her. I, I think I made. Her, yeah, I made her quit TikTok. Oh, did she? Yeah, she quit TikTok. She don't do TikTok no more. She want to focus on her music. Yeah, I remember I danced to her music, and like a mm -hmm. video like just show trolling her. Um, yeah, she contradicted herself. Her son was literally bragging about sucking, sucking dick and stuff, and then yeah, she was right. like, "Then she claims that oh, well, oh, I can." Gone. She said, "I can still say I hate, I hate men, and still want to suck." I'm like, "Bro, there's something fucking wrong with you." Dude, that, 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 <laughs> those were the those were the fucking gender wars back then. Fucking gender wars. Thank God. Yeah, dude. the gender wars was something different back then, bro. That's when people were pushing all types of stupid narratives that didn't make no type of sense. Yeah, thank God uh, we're beyond that. Um, I'm going to take a piss. Yeah. Uh, it was a pleasure uh, talking to you. When you get a Twitch, let me know. I'll, I'll put you on my Twitch team. I have like a team gut thing. It'll be, it'll be great to talk to you more. Oh, yeah, fast. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll DM you. I'll DM yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You know, and this was, it was oh, fucking controversy, man. I, hope, I don't know. Facts. We'll see how it plays out. You know, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Who the fuck knows? You never know what the hell. <laughs> Facts. So. All right, then, bro. Take care, man. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Peace. That was.